nobody believed that I would do this. No <laughs> many tips. <laughs> One day here, the next day here, the next day here. How is it possible? And it's so expensive. The biggest and most important travel hack is, of course, we also get money from that. <laughs> It wasn't always like this. Today we're joined by Elsa at True Powerhouse. This Austrian woman not just juggling with the parenthood, but also fuels her passion for travel. She already explored more than 65 countries. But her energy doesn't stop there. She also give back by leading Zumba classes, at the same time staying active at the gym. All while working with a company who supports people in need all around the world. So get ready to be inspired by Elsa's infectious spirit and get some tips how to live fulfilling and adventurous life. Hi Elsa. Hi. <laughs> I would like to start with the most uh, interesting question, I believe. Most okay. um, viewers would be wondering. So you have traveled more than 65 countries already, as I know. Yes. And uh, the main question is, how do you afford it actually without mm -hmm. breaking the bank? This is a very good question. I always say it's just how you set your own priorities. Like others have expensive cars, they are going out every weekend, are spending a lot of money on, on drinks, uh, cocktails and party. Um, they go to the cinema. I mean, of course, we also do things like this, but not often. And the money we usually or others spend for all these things, we spend for travel. So we really like spare every, yeah, every cent of money um, for our travels. It goes to your yeah, passion. and a very important thing is that a lot of people in our age, especially here in the like countryside, they spend a lot of money on their own houses. So they build their own houses and we always said, no, we don't want to do this. We are okay with the small flats and we want to spend all our money on our travels. Mm -hmm. So yeah. basically this is the budget prioritizing, right? Yes, So you definitely. choose where you will uh, put uh, the effort, like how to collect it yes. and spend for definitely. what you love to do. Yes, of course we have a job. Mm -hmm. Like we both, like my partner and me, we have a full-time job. Of course, we also get money from that. <laughs> yeah, this is the question. You have a full-time job, but you travel so many countries, you mm -hmm. know? Yes, people sometimes take a vacation, they go mm -hmm. somewhere, but maybe it's two countries in a year, mm -hmm. but you have done so many, and this is, this is it's impressive. It's some are also the, like, the way of, way of our travels or how we travel, because we are always we want to see a lot of things in a short time. And so for others it would be very stressful maybe but for us it's just yeah it's okay to be one day here the next day here the next day here it's this is like what what we like mm -hmm. but for others it would be stressful maybe mm -hmm. so we do a lot of things in a short time mm -hmm. and also again um like how you said your priorities because um, for example we are at work on um like between vacation days for example in austria it's very common to um stay at home between Christmas and New Year, mm -hmm. but these are working days, mm -hmm. but we are going to work because we want to use all our free days mm -hmm. for yes. travels or also some people stay at home on their birthdays or whatever, but we, or some people come home from the vacation on Sunday evening and then they stay at home on Monday as well. Mm -hmm. But for us, if we come home at Sunday night, we go to work on Monday mm -hmm. because we really want to spend every single day on traveling. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> this is very impressive. And do you have any like uh, travel hacks also, maybe to reduce your budget? Uh, what um, do you do to hack the system? <laughs> yes, I think uh, an important thing is to like plan everything on yourself. Like we we never really go to travel agencies or book there because most of the times it's much more expensive mm -hmm. um, so we plan everything and we compare a lot like we don't just book a flight we really compare for weeks mm -hmm. um, when the flight is the cheapest and also I think the the biggest and most important travel hack is to be flexible I mm -hmm. think 
if you already know you want to go to i don't know mexico and you just have mexico in your mind then maybe it will be expensive because it can be that the flights are very expensive at that time but if you're flexible and you just say i want to go anywhere mm -hmm. you know you can find a, a lot of cheap uh, mm -hmm. cheap flights yeah. it's also the same with hotels and everything so if you're flexible Mm -hmm. it can be much cheaper yeah this is uh, really fun so i remember how you were telling like okay we're looking for tickets mm -hmm. and uh, i think there are some websites maybe we can share also yeah. with people where you can just uh, push the uh, like yeah. i want to go somewhere right mm -hmm. there is a website yes. and uh, you just look what is uh, fits your budget and yes. you say okay we have never been there yeah. or we want to visit it jackfelix.com this is where we always search our flights and mm -hmm. um, Kaiskana, Kaiskana, yeah. uh, popular, it's kind of popular, but most yeah. probably most most of websites ha has that feature, yes. which not everyone knows. Yes, that's true. Yes, we never actually tried that uh, with my family, mm -hmm. but uh, we wanted one day also mm -hmm. to just uh, push the button and uh, mm -hmm. let's go somewhere. Yes, <laughs> I mean this is a, a, a rule. We always uh, have our own rules. Like if we book um, a vacation. Um, it must be a new country. Mm -hmm. So we really said we want to travel to every country in the world and um, because we think really every country has its beautiful sites um, people don't know and so we want to travel to every country so our rule is booking a new vacation a new it country. has to be a new country, a new country. yes <laughs> and if we are done with that we can repeat again and <laughs> i mean we do visit <laughs> countries all the twice <laughs> or th uh, three times but yeah most mm -hmm. of the times it's a new country maybe you will have to with the uh, fiona because she didn't see what you saw right yes then, so that will be <laughs> <laughs> that's true that's true yes. okay now 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 people yeah know how to deal with that it's possible mm -hmm. at least you know it is. because in many heads it's just something impossible and they built uh, some yes. Uh, myths around that uh, which is actually yes. much simpler than they think about it it's i can tell an, an example like because it was just a few weeks ago um we were flying to egypt for a week just relaxing holiday and we booked it very spontaneous mm -hmm. and the people were like oh, how is it possible and uh, how it's so expensive and then we told them how much we paid and they couldn't believe because it was so spontaneous mm -hmm. we only paid 300 euros and um, another a friend told us that he spent the same amount of money for two days mm -hmm. of um, a short trip in Austria. Mm -hmm. So sometimes if you compare, it, it is not that expensive. Mm -hmm. People are spending more money um, for around smaller things yeah, or yes. around the house or whatever. So um, yeah, we also want to show people and tell people that vacation or holidays must not always be expensive. Mm -hmm. It can only be very cheap and people would be surprised how cheap um, vacation yeah. can be. Yeah, I, I agree with you. And when I was a long time ago, so started to travel somewhere, I remember um, I would go like to Europe. Um, I spend less money when I come back to Ukraine and somewhere, mm -hmm. not village exactly, but small town, touristic mm -hmm. town. Mm -hmm. I spend on shopping less, I spend on a whole travel yes. with similar money and it was so much uh, eyes opening. There are, of course, there are expensive countries and there are cheap countries. Mm -hmm. I mean, from our point of view, mm -hmm. uh, for Austrians, there are a lot of cheap countries uh, and we try to focus on these, mm -hmm. <laughs> like for now. Um, and there it's really that if you go into a restaurant, it's much cheaper than going in a restaurant in um, mm -hmm. Austria. So, yeah, you always have to think about that. Yeah, or sometimes you catch these deals, right? You yes. went to Egypt, I believe, with like a package, yes. right? That yes. time. Yeah. And also, they're like a hot, yes. hot spot because they need to sell like last two places or something. And then yeah. you get it uh, yeah. like very cheap. So, yeah, you just uh, try to hunt that. Yes. <laughs> and <laughs> spend true. time, like invest your time to look for these yes. deals, of course. I mean, it's somehow our hobby. It got our hobby yeah, to or... search for flights and search for <laughs> cheap uh, vacation deals. Nice, it's really inspiring. I'm also wondering, uh, you're juggling with um, your work, 
with mm-hmm. uh, motherhood, mm-hmm. uh, with uh, travel, mm-hmm. and uh, also you are active in your fitness routine. So you are doing so many things. Mm-hmm. You are always uh, very energized. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, what is the secret? How do you do that? How do you plan your days? And uh-huh. uh, how do you maintain this energy? It's a good question. <laughs> I think I was always that kind of person doing a lot of things. I, I, I cannot just sit at home and lie on the couch and watch television for the whole day. That's not me. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was never me. I don't know. I think it's important to have a good partner. I'm really happy to have a good partner because I, for him it's also it's normal for him that he also gives me the time to do my things. Mm-hmm. like going to the gym or going to dance fitness or whatever if you don't have a partner like that mm-hmm. yeah, yeah you cannot do this mm-hmm. but also having good family is also a great part whenever i need their help i can bring my daughter to them and they take mm-hmm. care after mm-hmm. her i think it's also there are different characters on this world and i am like that one mm-hmm. always i always have to do something mm-hmm. so it comes uh, somewhere just from, from there yeah, yeah you maybe come, so, I mean, <laughs> yes. you just feel it so yes. you don't do anything special no that. no but maybe also being in this circle also gives you that energy yes so i believe some action helps you to be on an action yes especially since i'm a mother i think i i really need the the balance i always said even before i got pregnant i said if i have a child i still want to be me i still need my my things which i like mm-hmm. to do i'm happy that at is supporting me my partner is supporting me that because i need these things that i can also be a good mother i think mm-hmm. And if you're just focusing on um, having a child and, and being a mother, I don't know, maybe some, some mothers out there will say, no, that's not true. But for me, it's like, I think that I can be a good mother. I have to be me, myself. Mm-hmm. Stay so, happy. Yeah, right? and, and stay me. And I don't want, I mean, of course you change when you get a mother. Mm-hmm. But um, like, or you have to keep on doing what you like to do. Mm-hmm. So I would like to say that also you're like a pro in a time management, you know, even you have the energy, it comes, yes. you still need to manage this yeah. time. True, so I don't do know. Do you have any tips <laughs> or you just have chaos? <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I'm wondering myself, but then I also have friends, they are much crazier when it comes to that topic, so I really don't know. So it's just natural. It yes, comes, I think uh, so. Anyway, I believe you put everything what you want to do, right? Yes. At least you you need to start yes. from somewhere. If you say like yes. I want to be me, and what does it mean to be me? Mm. What does it mean to be myself? I want to be involved That's in true. these things. Yeah. First, you're starting. What do you want? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then time can it can follow up. Yes. Because if you still don't know, then yeah. and that think an important like, factor in all that is. Um, also to be Mm self-confident and to just do what you like to do and don't listen to what others say Mm -hmm. I think this is also an important thing I learned um, like yeah the past years because for example um, some will say no you're a mother now you have to stay at home but I don't care what they say like I have to find the way I like and Mm -hmm. how I am feeling comfortable so I yeah I learned to be self-confident and to just listen to myself, what I want to do and what I, how I am feeling um, comfortable. Yeah, that's really beautiful. Yes. Especially in this routine, when you become a mother, it's very hard in all this mess. It yes. is anyway mess, like oh, you yes. want it or not, to find okay, like yes. what what was my idea, like what yeah. I wanted to do, and then family, family. I mean, everything will yes. go in the right direction. It is a process, I think. I was not always like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it takes some time, I think. But now, like since a few years, I really have the feeling. So now I, I found myself. Now I know mm-hmm. where I want to go and how my future should look like. And yeah, it's mm-hmm. nice to to get to that point of life, mm-hmm. I think. I also want to ask you, as I know, you're working with a company which mm-hmm. um, supports people in need all around the world. Mm-hmm. And uh, I see some sort of a connection between Mm -hmm. your um, passion and purpose, Mm -hmm. I mean passion Mm -hmm. to travel. And um, the question, can you tell a little bit about Mm -hmm. the company and uh, how it fulfills you Mm -hmm. and how it connects uh, that you are curious now to Mm -hmm. learn different cultures? So I'm working with an NGO and we have like different projects and development aid all over the world. 
and we do different things like building schools, uh, preparing food and whatever. Like I was traveling or I love to travel even before I started there. But uh, for me, I love my job because I can also work with people in foreign countries. Mm -hmm. So I always have that connection. I studied international development, so I always was interested in different cultures mm -hmm. and different lives. I think the, the connection maybe is also I'm interested in people. Also, if we travel, mm -hmm. sometimes we travel to countries, people would say they're not really sites you can look at. But we don't travel for the sites, we travel for the whole country, especially for the people mm -hmm. um, and what they can tell you about the country. This is why I also love my job, because we, we want to help people, we are interested in the people, we want to hear what, uh, what they say, what they think, how we can help to change their lives. Mm -hmm. And of course it's cool that I can combine like my biggest passion I with work. That. Yeah, it's very interesting mm. because uh, yeah, it feels like it's still like continuous yourself. Yes. So sometimes people do the work uh, which is not related to their passion, mm -hmm. for example. Uh, and yeah. they, but this is very interesting. Yeah, that it uh, represents yeah. you and yeah. uh, help uh, to follow your values. That's uh, true. Yeah, that's true. And in work days and in uh, vacation days, mm -hmm. <laughs> you keep doing like you interact with people, you True. learn the world, you try to understand people yes. around the world. I think traveling is also a way how you can how you can support others. If we are traveling, we always try to support the locals and are going to eat in local restaurants uh, and don't uh, go to big brands or something mm -hmm. like that. Traveling can also be a part, a way of supporting others, mm -hmm. especially if you're traveling to countries, to maybe third world countries. Mm -hmm. And uh, how does it um, impact your life? What do you think after all mm -hmm. this travel, after this experience with the people, like what do you feel? Did your life change? Your choices? Yes. yes, definitely. Especially always the first few days after coming home. I'm like, no, now I want to try not to use so much water or whatever. Honestly, I have to say that in our society, it's so hard to keep on that. I think you fall back very fast to the old way of life, even if you try to change something. And you know, oh, maybe you can try not to use so much water or not to buy things you don't need to. But I think still, whenever we do some percentage of that, it's mm -hmm. already a change. And, uh, you know, if every person in the world will start change like at least 1% of their habits, it yes. will have a huge sure, impact. Sure, sure. Or it changed me a lot in the way of how I see others there are so many different people in the world and everybody should just be like they want to be maybe that you started also prioritizing some experiences mm -hmm. over material things mm -hmm. right now you don't want to invest your time your budget to build in a house for mm -hmm. I don't know like 30 years uh, I mean someone can afford it I don't say it's like yeah. good or bad it's yes. yours, but it's your choice it's yes. your situation yes. and you decided Okay, I will not build my home, I better mm -hmm. travel the world and it will bring me more maybe. It brings me much more joy if I live like that. But it also shows me, yeah, I don't need a big house. Other people in other countries are happy without a, a big house. Mm -hmm. And also to see the, the small things, like I know I'm, I'm very privileged and I know I have a much better life maybe, or not better, but often easier life than others around the world. What I know now after my travels is that I don't need so many things. For example, most of the time we only travel with hand luggage. Um, so we just have really few things with us. In this time when we, are on travel, uh, when we are traveling, it shows me that you don't need a lot of things to live your life. You will be surprised. Like every time I pack my, my, my luggage, I'm like, oh, I, I will not survive. I cannot pack so many things. I, I need this and this and this. But when we're then traveling, I see, yeah, I don't need it. There is like a phrase, uh, the most important things are not things, actually. Yes, true. <laughs> I think I yeah, also agree with you that yeah. I would travel and I put some time and hardly close the luggage and then I realized half of it, maybe not half, but yeah. some part I didn't use even. Yeah, in the end, you fulfill with the sun experiences yes. uh, communicating with people yes and in the end you don't care which outfit you have at the time you're so active energetic <laughs> and mm -hmm. uh, how do you find uh, within this busy schedule mm -hmm. like the energy and time to keep mm -hmm. uh, keep doing that <laughs> you do uh, 
Zumba <laughs> classes. Yes. Uh, I heard you go to the gym, right? Yes. Uh, now, since <laughs> since my daughter is here, it's not so often like in the past. Mm -hmm. I have to say honestly, but um, it's first of all, I really I need it for balancing. I need it to just be with myself and. Because at that time, me with my thoughts and I, yeah, I just need it. And I also have to say that I need it to keep fit. Because I don't know if I told you, I had a very big surgery a few years ago. Mm -hmm. It was in the medulla, not in the spine, at the medulla, like where all the nerves are going mm -hmm. through. I had to do a surgery there. After that, it was really hard. I could not walk and I had to learn how to walk again. And I was at the hospital and rehab a very long time. Since that, I really have to to train and do a lot that i can keep my my level mm -hmm. like i know if i if i stop training or mm -hmm. doing sports i know it would get worse so i really have to do it mm -hmm. i never tried what would happen mm -hmm. if i if you i stop it safe. but mm -hmm. i i don't want to try and, and also that's why i yeah i need it i'm like i got addicted to it <laughs> Because I also have that dream of life. I want to do so many things and I want to stay that fit. This is impressive and I think it's like a circle also. So mm -hmm. if you get to that situation, you need to walk again. You need to find that power mm -hmm. and desire and energy to help yourself first. Yes. And uh, now you are, yeah, you keep rolling this and yes. also you are actually making classes your leader. Yes. <laughs> so you train in others. <laughs> yes. So you're like a... That's uh, true. Powerhouse, which yes. <laughs> I mean, I did this. I did this before, like before the surgery, and nobody believed that I would do this after the mm -hmm. surgery. Mm -hmm. But it was my dream, and I knew I I want to do it. It was my big wish, wow. and now I I do it again because I think I am like the character of always pushing and mm -hmm. making out the best of it. Yeah, I think I, I was not always that person, as I said, but in that part of my life, it helped me a lot. That's impressive and uh, this is what uh, you, the brand, like your personality, <laughs> yes. you are full of energy and you are doing what you love. I yes. think this is a great combination and which can inspire a lot of uh, women around the world. I hope so. As a conclusion, I would mm -hmm. like you to give some uh, advice to women who want also to live a fulfillment life, who mm -hmm. wants, uh, who is striving adventures, mm -hmm. or who just want to balance between many things in their mm -hmm. life, how to stay this energized and mm -hmm. how to maintain this type of life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> I really like, I believe in that. I really think the most important thing is to start listening to yourself and not to others. I think this is really the, the biggest step in so many parts of life. Even now we, we, we do what we, we like and we travel a lot, but it wasn't always like that. I always still hear my family and at this family like, no, you cannot do this and are you crazy and this country and blah, blah, blah. And um, like in the past, at the beginnings of our travels, we still listen to them. And now we uh, we wish we would have done it before we changed our life before, mm -hmm. just to listen to ourselves and not to others. And since we do that, we're so happier, mm -hmm. and we yeah because this I think this is the first step to to have a a better life or a life which is fulfilling. So listen to yourself and what you want to do, and even if it's not like common in the society, even if most of the people around you would not do this um, but if it's your dream and if it's within all rules of course <laughs> but <laughs> um, why not just do it? Okay. it it starts with the simple things you know it starts with if i want to wear red trousers and nobody's wearing uh, wearing red trousers whatever don't mm -hmm. care just do it yeah and i think that energy will follow up right yes. you start with small things and yes. then it's and also just yeah try just try and do it once and if you if you realize no it's nothing for me then you know but if you don't try you can never know yeah. okay thank you so much i really felt like right away with you uh, mm -hmm. that your energy and i'm like whenever we talk about you or something mm -hmm. i say oh my god i'm so happy we met elsa <laughs> like elsa Ati and yeah. fiona you are a beautiful family oh, and we're so you. lucky <laughs> just keep going just uh, shine and yeah, I hope you'll have a lot of adventures. Thank you.